Do you believe Prime Minister Modi is bothered? Oh, he's very bothered. By the Western press? Of course he is. Bothered in which way? In I think, I think Mr. Modi... To has convert it, it into a clever othering of the media? No, no. As he's done in the Gujarat context? No, I think he's genuinely bothered. I think the Prime Minister has achieved whatever he had to achieve in the Indian context. He is the most popular leader India has ever seen. He is more popular and for longer than Indira Gandhi. Mm-hmm. Indira Gandhi's popularity never lasted this long. There are not that many mountains left for him to climb in India. There is, however, the opportunity to be a global statesman. And that is something he seems quite keen on. And if you look at the way in which his acolytes, that is a pet media, report his adventures, he is being projected as a global statesman. Mm. Can you really do that when all of the world's great television channels and newspapers are saying you're anti-democratic, you're a Putin in the making, you're an Erdogan in the making? Mm. So clearly he's unhappy about it. It doesn't suit his image. It suits his politics, I would say, on home turf. It 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 how, sort of reinforces yeah. his nationalist. Look at look at Foreign Minister Jay Shankar. What you know, even those who don't vote for the BJP, I I have seen people sort of go three cheers for Jay Shankar when he calls out Western hypocrisy. There is a there no, no, is look, domestic yes, appetite but, for but that. But can you tell me somebody who was not going to vote for Modi who was voting for him because he did a raid on the BBC? It doesn't make any difference. It's good stuff for you and I to discuss. Hmm. But in terms of voting attentions, in terms of movement on the ground politically, it makes no difference. Okay, so let's push your, your argument a bit further. If Mr. Modi was that bothered by how yeah. the world's media, or at least the Western world's media, was perceiving him, he would ensure changes. He would ensure changes. For example, why would you give someone a chance to say the BJP has no Muslims in parliament? Just a simple thing. You could change, they could change that easily. They don't I think you will change it. I think the outreach to Christians is an attempt on the air because they believe that mm. these chaps are Christians, these Western media people, so they'll care more about mm. Christians. It's a fairly primitive level. Mm. But at least the beginning of that has happened. They've tried the stick. It hasn't worked. Mm. So I think there will be some reforms because, frankly, there's so much quelling of dissent that is unnecessary. Mr. Modi is so far ahead of everyone that a little criticism actually makes him look even stronger. He doesn't really, they don't really need to terrorize the news media in the way they have. And my sense is that assuming Karnataka isn't a disaster for them, and it might be, in which case they'll get frightened. If it isn't, if they do okay in Karnataka, there will be some attempt to show the world that, look, we are an open society.